Hey everyone, I'm behind the camera today because I've got some goat skulls that I want to show you so that you can better understand the difference between a goat that is born with horns and is sputted, born with horns that grow, and then a goat that is pulled. Before I get started, you probably want to know, how do I get these goat skulls? Well, we compost most of our goats when they die. If they die in the winter, absolutely they get composted because we can't bury them in Illinois in the middle of winter because the ground is frozen down at least three feet. So we have to compost them. That's really our only choice unless we wanted to go pay to have them cremated somewhere. And sometimes we will compost them even if they're born later times of the year if I want the skull or something else about it. And so that was the case like with this horn goat and also with this polled goat. Now, these two goats here were born horned, genetically horned, but they were disbutted as kids. And when you look at the top of the skull here, you can see it's pretty smooth. So disbutting means that you burn the horn buds when they're like, we usually do bucks at one week, we do does at two weeks because the bucks grow so much faster. If you didn't know that this was a goat that was born with the ability to grow horns and just budded, you might not even realize that there was anything unusual about this goat's skull. This one is a little bit, is a little bit more rough here, not quite as smooth as the other one, but same thing. It's got a nice solid skull that, you know, it's otherwise pretty smooth. Now this goat was born with horns. When I created my kidding course a few years ago, we let four of the kids grow horns. We decided that we were going to have four weathers that we would butcher for meat and we would just let them grow their horns because the rest of my goats are all either pulled or disputed. And it's not great to have mixed goats in your herd because sometimes the horn goats become real jerks and beat up the goats without horns. So we kept these four until they were into the fall and then we butchered them. And after we took the horn goats to be processed in the fall, we brought back the skulls and put them in the compost pile so that I could have these skulls with the horns on them. And this last skull is one that was actually pulled. And you see that pulled goats have bumps and those bumps are part of their skull. And this is what a pulled goat's skull looks like. So I hope this has been helpful for everyone to better visualize what goat skulls look like, depending on whether they were born with the ability to grow horns, but disbutted or born with horns, which grew out, or they were born pulled.